55 pounds of vintage right here. I honestly don't even remember what was in here, so it'll be fun to go through and see what I got, kind of like Christmas. I'm gonna show everything I got. I'm gonna sort it all first though, so it's easier for when I show you guys. And I'll also include how many pieces it is and how much I paid, because I know you guys probably want to know that. Time for a time lapse. I got it all organized and if I counted correctly, there was like 45 pieces. So I think that means I paid around 10 a piece, maybe a little more. I really like buying wholesale, even though it's a little more expensive than like going to the thrift or going to the bins, just because I don't have to spend the time looking for the clothes and then I don't have to spend the money on gas looking for the clothes as well. And then I know I'm gonna get comments asking where I get my wholesale from. I either get it locally from people I know or people I know on Instagram. I've tried buying wholesale on sites before and it's kind of tricky because you don't really know what you're going to get. And if you buy locally or some from someone on Instagram, usually you'll see what you're going to get before, which is helpful. That's enough yapping. I'm going to show you guys what I got. I'm going to show the sweatshirts first, but just a heads up, there's not going to be anything crazy in here, but it's all good quality stuff that'll sell well on my Depop. Here's this first sweatshirt, this vintage Nike track and field. This is one of my favorite pieces that was in the box. And then we got this Y2K Harley hoodie with the front hit and the back hit. Pretty cool. A little 90s here fishy fishy crew neck i think i've sold this exact crew neck for 30 bucks before and then we got this camo kind of like waffle lined hoodie type thing zip up we got this michigan hoodie always selling college stuff this tool band hoodie i've sold tool stuff before and it sells well so excited for this and then this newer purdue crew neck this pattern sweater has some nice weight to it and a nice pattern lions crew neck and then like a random destination crew neck and this Burton snowboard hoodie. Also got this Viagra hat, which is pretty hard, literally. And then here were the t-shirts. Got this LSU t-shirt on the Fruit of the Loom tag. And then we got this 80s Michigan jersey shirt. Funny sex tees always do well, and this one's pretty good. Sexology, like a little board game. Got the front hit too. And then we got the Budweiser lizard t-shirt. And then we got one more of those Budweiser Lizard tees. This back's really cool. And we also got this Harley tee. Got a little camo tee, Michigan Rose Bowl tee, Rascal Flats tee with the tour dates on the back, liquid blue AOP, little Ed Hardy tee. Ed Hardy and the whole Y2K thing's really big right now. The 90s college tee, Led Zeppelin tee, this big dog tee. I really like the back on this. And then a 2002 Red Wings tee, this Bruce Lee tee, this Big Dog Spider-Man shirt, Texas Nike jersey, Orange County Choppers t-shirt. And I just have some coats to go through, so I'm gonna go through the coats now. Got this Real Tree camo coat. Then we also got this Made in USA Ranger camo chore coat type thing. North Face Denali, North Face Denali's do super well on Depop. Polo bomber jacket. This camo bomber jacket, lots of camo in this box. This one's pretty cool, this USPS denim jacket. And then we got a North Face puffer vest. This pattern fleece. Another camo jacket, I believe this one's reversible, which is pretty cool. And then I forgot to include this one with the sweatshirts, but a little duck camo zip up hoodie, pretty sweet. And then just this wool rich windbreaker. The last two things are in the box. I don't think I even ordered, but some of the stuff that I got sold. So we included these, which is really cool of him. These Rock Revival jeans, which are really in style right now. And then some Echo Unlimited jeans, which are also really in style right now. So that was everything in the box. I'm sure there were some things like some shirts where you're like, why would you pay $10 for that? That's like a $15 shirt. But I don't really like pay per piece, if that makes any sense. Like I just get sent a video of all the stuff he has and then I pick between that stuff and then he gives me a price. So technically, yeah, I paid 10 bucks for like some of the shirts that weren't as good, but I also paid 10 bucks for like that Harley hoodie. And there was a pretty good amount of items in there like that. Like those camo jackets, I sell camo really well. And then that North Face Denali, North Face Denali's go for like 40 to 50 for me. I was really happy with that box. I think I'll turn a pretty good profit. It's the next day. I was going to end the video yesterday, but I realized it was going to be pretty short if I ended it there. So I'm going to vlog a little today. I'm at the thrift right now. I have some orders to pack up. And then I also have all that stuff yesterday that I have to take to the laundromat because it was kind of stinky.
found absolutely nothing at that store i think i'm gonna try and go to one more thrift and then i'm gonna get all the other stuff i have to do done it's raining a little bit but we are at the next thrift i thought i was gonna come up empty-handed again but i found this vintage bucks t-shirt pretty cool and i just found this north face denali as well i'm gonna head to the post office now and then after the post office i'm gonna go to the laundromat and wash all that stuff and I have a bunch more orders that I have to pick up for my storage unit, so I gotta do that too, and then pack the rest of those. I haven't been filming but what i've been doing is just taking pictures of all that wholesale stuff and i got it all up on my depop i'm not going to film going to my storage unit and getting all the orders because i think that'd be pretty boring but check out the depop if you want there's like 45 new items on there blue boy underscore vintage if you want anything for a lower price dm me on instagram i can probably get you a lower price so that's all for this video if you got this far in the video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time